Hello, wonderful family. Another glorious day and another beautiful opportunity to share the word with you. Hallelujah. Um, today I want us to study from the book of uh, Hebrews chapter 13 from verses 5 to 6 and I'll be reading from the Amplified uh, Bible, the classic edition. It's the King James generally is a very brief way it says what we want to say here. It says, uh, he will never leave you nor forsake you. But God has said he will never leave you nor forsake you. But I like the way the Amplified amplifies it. It's in moments when uh, one feels down, all alone. If you go back and read the scripture and it ministers to you. It makes you understand that you're not there alone. Just listen with, listen to me. Uh, verse 5. Let your character or moral disposition be free from love of money, including greed, avarice, lust, and craving for earthly possessions, and be satisfied with your present circumstances and with what you have. He now goes on to expatiate the main part that I want to highlight. For he, God himself, has said, that is, God is speaking now, I will not in any way fail you. If we put a full stop there, that would have been enough to start a jubilee celebration or a praise session. God says, I will not in any way fail you. Can you trust him to, to keep that word in your life? That is, he's saying that there is no circumstance that can come where he will fail you. No trial, no pressure, where you will be filled by God. As long as you trust Him, but for, for, you are not seeing Him. So for that word to be effective in your life, it entails trust. You trust that He didn't lie there. And that even though you are not seeing Him, as He said, He will not fail you. So He's right and He says He's with you and He will not fail you. So that circumstance cannot put you under. You can never go under in him. Now let's continue. Like I said, if it stopped there, that would have been good enough. But it didn't stop there. It says, nor give you up. So you, you can say, ah, oh, God has given, given up on me. Or he's left me to my faith. Never. Never. The bottom line I ask again is, can you trust him to keep his word? That is, under whatever circumstance that he will not give you up. So he's not leaving you to your faith. He's not leaving you to the mercy of uh, the situation or the circumstance. No. If it stopped there, that would have been good enough also. But now combine both. I will not in any way fail you. Excellent speech there. Excellent promise. And add on top of that. Or add on that. Nor give you up. But he didn't stop there. He says, nor leave you without support. So, you will not be failed by God. You will not be given up. Neither will you be there without support. He will make sure you have support. And how does God go about supporting you in situations and circumstances? He has surrounded you with ministering spirits. That's angelic beings that nudge people. To be of assistance. If there, if there's nobody around there, the angelic, the angelic uh, beings themselves, if the, this, however it is, might even manifest themselves to make sure that you are supported. You are not left alone. You, are, you, you will receive support. Then he goes on. He says, "I will not. I will not. I will not." Triple negative. Concerning what he's saying, I will not, I will not, I will not, in any degree, leave you helpless. So, if you look at what is, when you're talking of degrees, you usually have 360 degrees in a circle. Just imagine that all around you. It says, any degree around you, you will not be left. I will not in any degree leave you helpless. So, help is always there for you from him. So he says there's no, no backing you into a corner. Help is there for you. He's your helper. He says he will not, he will not, he will not. Then he now says, nor forsake, nor let you down. 
If God says, I, can't, I, I got your back, I won't let you down. And it's a triple negative. I will not, I will not, I will not let you down. You can trust him. You can put your confidence in him. Relax my hold on you. Then he says, assuredly not. That word assuredly not is like an oath. You can take this, my statement to the bank. Assuredly not. Now, based on all of this that he has told us, he says, because of this, he says, so we, can, we take comfort and are encouraged and confidently and boldly say, the Lord is my helper. I will not be seized with alarm. I will not fear or dread or be terrified. What can man do to me? Imagine if you are not left helpless, if you are not left forsaken, if you are not let down, if you have, if, if, you, if you are not failed and you are not left without support, you move with confidence. You will not, you, fear is dis, dispelled from you because you know what you have even though it's not visible. Isn't that the best place to be? All he, he, he asks of you is to have confidence. First of all, you got to know what he said. This is the, these, are, these are his everlasting promises. And then have confidence in those promises. Have confidence in the God who made those promises, that he keeps his word. God bless you. Hallelujah.